Hi, my name is Raul Philip. I'm from Panama, Central America. I came to the United States in 1996. I was in Brooklyn. Came here to Georgia on 2004. How I get into barber? Well, in my country, when I was uh, younger, before we go out, uh, we all get together, my cousin, my brother, my nephews, and we only got one clipper, so we don't have money to go to the barber shop, so we cut the share here. And uh, I cut my brother, my brother cut me, my nephew cut somebody, and you know, on and on. But um, a time passed, you know, I was the one that cut him, the haircut to everybody better. So when somebody cut me, I had to cut everybody, you know, and then I start charging that. And that is how I, you know, become a barber. Uh, when you work in a barber shop and you pay boot rent, you own your own business because the station that you pay is a business that you run. I opened a barber shop in uh, 2014. And um, that means that uh, we've been open for the past five years. Most importantly, any business in the community should be a pillar for the community because you serve the community. And when people come to your business, you try to serve them. And they're serving you too by bringing business to your place. This is safe and the definition of it will be for me. I feel successful already. You know, I feel like I have a good ambience, a good atmosphere, a good place that people could come and feel good about it. Sometimes people come here, they don't even come to get a haircut. They come and they laugh, they talk about politics, they talk about uh, the ladies, they talk about the men. I mean, we talk about everything here. We talk about religion. We don't have no, no, no feeling some type of way about any topic. And that's a good thing because, I mean, we feel like a dizzy hump, you know, and when you feel like that, you don't have no, no, no ceiling, you know.